In this game we're playing as Renekton in the top lane against an Olaf. I do have a small lead over Olaf right now, but I have not been able to kill him. So I'm going to shove the lane to the turret to keep him busy and then roam towards the mid lane to snowball our mid laner. We're going to come stand in the bush at mid and the pink ward that's been placed here lets us know that we have not been seen. We wait for Ryze to come close, flash in to stun him and take him down for the kill. Now my motivation for roaming like this is not simply the gold that I get from the kill. It's also because this is a great way to create internal problems on the enemy team. It'd be really nice if the enemy Ryze gets upset at the enemy Olaf for allowing this to happen. Later on we head down the river again, but Ryze being the diligent mid laner that he is has placed a pink ward in the brush, so we clear it and head back towards the top lane. It's not the kill that we were looking for, but it does help out our mid lane nonetheless. As we continue laning against Olaf, a fight breaks out at mid and we need to take notice. Victor has a full level advantage on Ryze from our earlier roam and this allows him to kill Ryze in a 1v1 encounter. If you have seen the video in this channel on successful ganks, you might remember that this moment where Ryze dies is important. Since we've cleared the pink ward from earlier, we have a window of opportunity to gank the mid lane when Ryze comes back to lane just before he has time to ward the river again. So we come down the river to the brush above the mid lane for a kill on Ryze. Unfortunately, Victor still thinks that the brush is warded so he refuses to commit to the gank and we miss out on a kill on Ryze. But it's important that we recognize and try to make the most of these opportunities as they become available. Speaking of taking advantage of opportunities, on the way back we watch the minimap and see that the enemy Olaf has moved into the tribrush. Olaf is expecting that we will take the shortest safe path back to lane and he intends to fight us if we pass through that brush. I have a small lead over Olaf but I know that I cannot beat him in a slugfest so I take the scenic route through the jungle going back to lane safely. While the sequence of events is not entirely the reason that we went on to win this game, it should give you some ideas on how to build leads for your team and to monitor the minimap so that you do not lose the leads that you've built. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe to the channel, follow on Twitter and leave a comment about what kind of content you would like to see in future videos. Do check out the video links on either side for more gameplay tips and strategies in this channel.